score back. Losing, losing. Hey. Hey. When the rain's pouring, she like the way it <laughs> That's my song, y'all. Great rising. Grace rising to you all. Can't even speak. <laughs> I know the collective, I guess the divine masculine is kind of like still shook up and not using that throat shocker, okay? Um, I just woke up in really great full moon intentions. Like, I'm just like vibes, it's like off the charts. So what I did is, Oh, let me let you guys know, I'm doing a part two on decision-making spells because I did go back and I looked at the video and I did leave out um, to burn those experiences, those experience, experiences that you're trying to release. So this is going to be a part two on decision uh, spell, okay? Now, um, like I was saying, I woke up this rising, and what I did was I got up, I got me some fresh cinnamon sticks, okay? I started placing them above my door, you know, just like doing a, I just felt like to do a clarity, a cleansing through the whole house. Um, so I woke up and I started placing these and taping these on the top of my doors every door the bathroom all the room doors and um also my entering and exit doors okay and then i decided to boil me some cinnamon and cloves on the stove and go in each room and let the steam just whew, go throughout the whole rooms i mean it smells so good in here just like it's so refreshing Lit me some white candles for uh, purification and clarity, okay? Also, um, I woke up about 4.30, maybe a little bit early. Spirit always make, wake me up. Uh, 3.30 or either 4, okay? So when I did wake up, I did do a bay leaf releasing, releasing of negative thoughts, um, maybe blockages, neg you know, I just like remove all negative blockages okay and i burned them and put them in my little cares cast iron little, little pot <laughs> i forgot i don't know what they call it i forget okay um i did do that but i want to let you guys know when you're releasing anything all um for your intentions you want them to go away um three tips you can burn them and throw them outside to the universe. Okay, tell spirit thank you for the help. Thank you for releasing um, the experiences, okay? Always say thanks and be grateful to the ancestors, always. And show gratitude, okay? Um, another tip is you can also bury those intentions in the ground away from your home okay because you want to you want to get rid of them and another way you can also take and flush it tear it up and flush it down the toilet okay um i want to make sure i come back with that now if you trying to bring anything to you three tips will be you can use it to put it up on your pillow something that you love and you cherish and you want to bring into you you want to fold it write something fold it close to you sleep with it close to you so that your energy can be felt of what you're trying to do and the ancestors can hear of what you want to receive they're going to hear your message they're going to feel it just as well as you feel it that's why you always do things with your feelings with your intentions um your gut feelings and emotions okay because the ancestors is going to feel that energy and they're going to make sure that that 
wish is granted to you, okay? Um, I did. I did first start off with the hoodoo spell book by Denise Alvarado. And this is one of my favorite books, okay? So I want to give you guys a spell for peace peace oil because it's been a lot of still a lot of anxiety a lot of um decisions that people can't make so it's a lot of tension um far as the collective far as these um twin flame journeys and also individual journey uh people is experiencing a lot of negativity and we're going to have negative we're going to have positive it's all part of the world we just got to be able to heal and fix what comes to us okay if not we'll suffer for it and that's why I get on here and I give you guys the spells and I'm just a motivational speaker basically. That's why I'm a light worker. That's what I do, okay? Because I speak of the things I experience. I speak of the things that I help my clients heal from, okay? And also I speak of the downloads that I receive from the ancestors, okay? Um, I also speak of the things I might have have read and feel as my spirit as to be right, okay? So, um, everybody has a different perception of things. Everybody has a different level of consciousness. So, if you think about it, there's really no right and wrong answer far as different individuals' perspectives, Okay? And this is going to go over some individual's heads. They might not be able to take that in and understand what I'm saying. But everybody has a certain level of consciousness. Okay? And that's just it. You know? So, uh, the peace oil, you're going to need rosemary leaves, basil leaves, lavender flowers, and also sandalwood oil. Okay? So, once you do them, you want to do a conjunction with oil, um, grapeseed oil, my favorite, extra virgin oil, or coconut oil. You want to combine them all together, and if you want to put them on a stove, okay, you can put them on the stove, stir them. 360 clockwise and say I'm calling in peace okay you also can put them all together and you don't have to put them on the stove put them all together in some oil in a small bottle and you can put them in a dark place and let it sit let the conjunction sit in a dark area and then take it out after three days okay so magic is magic okay you just have to believe in what you're doing okay everybody has every witch is different every healer is different okay so everyone has their own way of doing spells you know sometimes i do get my spells out of my books sometimes i get my spells from downloads of the knowledge the ancestors sent me okay so it's just different ways that I do my magic, okay? Sometimes some things, like I said, just comes to me, and I'll do it, you know? Um, but whatever you do, just make sure you're great and you're getting through the challenges that comes to you in life, okay? And that's what we have to do. We have to overpower, overcome the bad times and embrace all of them. We have to embrace, embrace the good in the bad, you know, because just be grateful for it all because it's all been learning experience, learning experiences. Excuse me. <laughs> I told y'all, y'all need to get that throat shocker together. Like blue. Yes. I have info on that. Okay. So, um, all honor to my granny. I'm wearing her favorite color, which is purple and mine too, because it symbolizes the crown chakra. <laughs> purple. 
So I'm going to come back and give you guys some really great pointers on your crown shocker, okay? <laughs> uh, because I do um, want to go out for a while, but um, add this book to your library if you really want to get into your, your gifts and doing your spells. It's a really great book to refer to you all. Um, I'm going to show you guys. I'm all up on the camera. Oh, goodness. Look how it is out here, y'all. So, y'all know that's layer weather, right? <laughs> to sit out here and enjoy the fresh rain okay we do still need it even though sometimes it's, it makes you very sleepy and not want to do anything but hey so I think it's going to rain like this all day today so I'm just going to chill out probably do some studying or something but I'm golden light and I'm always here to shed light peace love light and also that see you guys later